presentation from 2006. So, so, and there must have been much work even before that. So, uh, so it is it is really getting old uh, even today. So, so uh, first of all, I will show you an example how uh, the use of drawing letter looks like. So, when I uh, one more thing, uh, like by drawing layer, when I talk about that, I mean the the lowest part of uh, of the drawing stack uh, in LibreOffice. Uh, so, like in the case when I talk about drawing layer itself, it means uh, uh, it means the mean how you get something on the screen. Uh, but then, uh, like when you have shapes in the documents and stuff like that, it is some uh, sometimes called drawing layer as well. Uh, but for the purposes of this presentation, I call it SDR objects, uh, so that it's a bit more visible that it is not uh, the entire drawing layer itself. So, when you want to use a drawing layer, so um, in this case, it is when you want to uh, draw this, uh, this hatching, uh, hatching example. Uh, so, uh, what you do here is that you, uh, that you draw, uh, draw a, a, like, a shape uh, with, with the hatching, and then you draw a rectangle, a black rectangle around that. So, the code uh, that actually does that uh, is something like this. Uh, so first of all, you create uh, something that uh, that is called primitive. Uh, in this case, hatch primitive. So that is uh, like for now something that will uh, will uh, will create hatching uh, in the polygon that is uh, uh, defined by this rectangle. So that's the first thing you create that. Then you will create. Uh, oh, well, there's a mistake. Not uh, the hedge primitive, but of course the, the rectangle. So you you create some polygon hairline primitive 2D, uh, which is which is uh, uh, in this case again just just the rectangle because because uh, you uh, you uh, do not provide it with some 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 fancy polygon, but but only with the rectangle. So uh, this uh, you create to this, uh, these two things, uh, and then you put it uh, in some kind of this playlist. So uh, so that's this is just a sequence of uh, of things you want to draw, and uh, it defines uh, it defines the the uh, order of, of of this drawing. So so you will uh, you will first draw uh, the edge primitive, and then. Uh, on top of that, this, uh, this this rectangle, this black rectangle around that. Then, uh, well, because this is this is real code. This is uh, this is in uh, Xtap uh, Hedge uh, CSS uh, online uh, 121. Uh, so you can see there. I've stripped only just just some initialization of, of a virtual device device here. So you create uh, you create the processor, uh, which is something. Uh, that will uh, that will somehow display or in this uh, like in this case draw into the virtual device uh, whatever you have in this in this sequence so in this like this playlist and yeah so that's that's happening here so you do uh, the process of the sequence so this is a uh, consequence uh, will will create uh, the, the shape I've I've shown uh, on the on the previous slide uh, with uh, with the hatching and with the rectangle around that, and now you have it in the in the virtual device. So you copy it, uh, uh, you you create a bitmap from that and and, and return that. So uh, so this is because it is used by by the widget that needs the bitmaps there. So it is not uh, drawn directly on the screen, but into an intermediate bitmap, and this is this is by, by, uh, then handled uh, by the widget itself. Two. Uh, I've used some uh, some terms here. So, what are primitives? Uh, primitives are classes uh, that that uh, represent the shape uh, in some way. Uh, the the primitives uh, like there are actually two sets of primitives. Uh, one uh, set are the basic two D primitives. So, these are uh, that uh, cannot be decompo decomposed into anything uh, more simpler. So as the uh, like as the drawing layer is now, 
the, the basic uh, 2D primitives are bitmap uh, primitive 2D, uh, which is some, some bitmap, uh, then point array, uh, single points, uh, then hairline, that's, uh, that's just the, the line itself that, that is uh, like as thin as, uh, as possible, uh, whatever uh, the, the device uh, allows you to do. And then poly polygon uh, color primitives, so so some kind of color from polygons. But then uh, you can have uh, more primitives, uh, which are not that primitive anymore. But well, <laughs> uh, which uh, which are uh, which are created from this uh, from this uh, like basic basic primitives. In order uh, to be able to do that, uh, the the primitives have to have to. Uh, defined at the composition, so uh, they have a method uh, that um, that creates the display list. Um, as I've shown you, the this primi do the primitive uh, uh, sequence of how to how to create this one primitive from the from the previous primitives uh, from the from the basic primitives. Uh, you can do some some groupings there. You can uh, you can do um, like nest it even more so so you can you know create the composition that uh, uh, that decomposes into like something more and more uh, complex uh, sorry uh, from more more complex to 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 to, to most primitive uh, the advantage of this is that uh, like when you uh, when i will be talking later about about creation of your own primitive um, you can uh, you can like define it on, on one place, and uh, when you provide the decomposition, it is supposed to just work. Uh, the disadvantage is uh, that of course, like uh, in many cases, you need some special behavior. So then, then it is getting much more complex. But um, one example of the of the um, like uh, this this uh, kind of uh, primitive uh, is the polygon marker primitive. So. Uh, which is uh, which is uh, uh, the, the rectangle around objects uh, that uh, uh, that uh, shows that this is selected and and uh, you you can like resize it, move it away, or, or something like that. So uh, so that looks in LibreOffice like the like uh, uh, dashed uh, rectangle around the around the object. And uh, so this one is just decomposed into uh, into the uh, the two uh, poly polygon hairlines. So so one uh, defines uh, like the dashes, and uh, the other uh, like what is between dashes. So that that looks like that. Um, then you have the processes, uh, as I've seen you in, the, uh, as I've shown you in the in the uh, code example, uh, you have the. Uh, you have the processor to, to be able to uh, get it somehow on the screen or into a bitmap or to a virtual device. So uh, this process, there, there are uh, various processors uh, that do this. Uh, so one of the most important one is the uh, pixel processor, which is uh, uh, which is supposed to just render it on the screen. So you provide it with the with the, the primitive 2D sequence. And uh, and it is supposed to either do the decompositions or render uh, render it directly onto the screen. Another one uh, which is quite important uh, for printing for uh, metafile exchange is the uh, VCL metafile processor 2D, uh, which uh, creates uh, uh, VCL metafiles out of these uh, these primitives uh, that are important. Uh, that yeah, I just don't remember. <laughs> And uh, there are other uh, with, uh, special pur purposes. So, for example, for contours, like when you uh, when you need to, or for hit testing. So, when you need to find out, like uh, if, um, if the if the mouse uh, was uh, uh, was positioned over over some primitive or not, uh, there's a, there's a processor for that. Uh, that uh, acts according to the decompositions and, and finds for you like if you are inside or not. So, how to implement an own primitive? Uh, so, what does it mean? So, how to actually implement something that you know behaves in this way uh, that allows you to draw something new on the screen? Uh, 
An example could be uh, that if we wanted to provide uh, provide uh, uh, shadows that are not uh, not this hard, uh, like, but instead uh, instead blurred, so 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 that like uh, uh, you can see uh, that the, the shadow is is fading into into the uh, into the background. Uh, so. In this case, uh, you want to uh, you want to provi uh, provide the, the primitive uh, itself, uh, which means uh, you will provide the, some kind of uh, storage uh, for the information about how is it uh, like what is it uh, supposed to contain. So, uh, for example, in this in this case of the of the blur shadow, uh, you want to uh, you want to derive it uh, from uh, from uh, s from the bitmap primitive because uh, if it is large you know, um the result will be will be some bitmap that that uh, that just just provides the blurred um, blurred uh, uh, content and uh, uh, and uh, but in this uh, like the primitive itself will not contain uh, the the bitmap it will only contain the information like uh, what is the intensity of the shadow? What is the color of the shadow? Uh, but it will not contain uh, the bitmap itself. Then uh, you have to create an ID for that, uh, and you have to implement also the decomposition of this, uh, even if it is something that uh, you know, uh, like this, this shadow uh, or, or what is it, a bitmap. You still need to uh, need to provide it. Uh, because some of the processors do not have to implement uh, the uh, like some some kind of direct drawing uh, of the, of the primitive, and then uh, in case uh, this is uh, something as special as for example the large shadow, uh, you need to uh, you need to do a special case uh, in in the uh, various processors uh, that uh, that that need that. So like uh, the hit test. Uh, processor most probably won't need anything special uh, for the for the large shadow uh, because uh, because uh, the uh, like you do not care like if you uh, if uh, if like how it looks you just need the information if it's inside or not uh, but for example for uh, for the showing on the screen uh, it is pretty useful to to just uh, uh, special case this and uh, and be able to to draw it directly or or uh, combine it directly uh, into in in some more optimized way uh, than just to uh, you know try to vectorize it in, in any way. So so you have to uh, find out like which which processes uh, need to be modified uh, this way and, uh, and act accordingly. So, where is uh, the drawing layer uh, used these days? Uh, so, uh, one is SDR objects, uh, which are the uh, which are the, the shapes uh, that, that you have uh, that you have in, in draw or in impress or in write as well uh, that uh, that are these these vector drawings. Uh, the selections use drawing layer. Uh, so that uh, when you select the text uh, in in writer, uh, that's uh, that's uh, using drawing layer, layer as well. Uh, then there are uh, small uh, small cases like uh, uh, like I've shown you uh, in the example at the beginning, um, just to uh, like you know uh, show you some preview of anything. Um, and then also it is used for custom widgets. Uh, so, for example, when you have these uh, buttons uh, for headers or footers uh, in Writer uh, that appear when you when you click into the header, uh, this is uh, this is done uh, through the like drawing layer as well. So this is pretty much about the lower part uh, of drawing layer. So did it make any sense? <laughs> Okay, that's great because we are going uh, to uh, get into parts that uh, do not make uh, that much sense to me. So um, I must say that I wasn't able to uh, find all the details about uh, about the SDR objects, unfortunately. So 
so I attempted to write down here uh, what I managed to find. Uh, but of course, like if uh, if you find uh, anything more, uh, it will be most appreciated. Uh, after the talk, I will um, also extract the, the text from this into the uh, readmes uh, that Michael uh, talked about. Uh, but like if you find more, please do extend the readmes as well. So SDR objects. Uh, these are. Um, as I've said, uh, these, uh, these objects that, that you have in, uh, in various applications. And internally, uh, like there's an abstract SDR object, but there are many, uh, many SDR <laughs> objects derived from that. Uh, so that's, uh, um, the hierarchy is quite deep as well here. Uh, so you know, like from SDR object, uh, uh, it is derived from SDR att attribute objects from that uh, there is SDR text object, from that um, SDR rectangle object, and from that, for example, SDR circle object. So SDR circle object is, uh, is in fact a rectangle, which is a text, which is an attribute object, which is finally SDR object. So, so yeah, That's, that is it. So, uh, so this all builds uh, some, some additional complexity on top of the Rodari uh, layer itself. I think it is not uh, good to blame the drawing layer for this, uh, because uh, the SDR objects were there uh, before, it's something old, and Armin um, was, uh, was uh, like uh, redesigning that to actually use the drawing layer, and it seems to me that it is just uh, like stuck somewhere in the middle of the uh, of the rewrite re or or change uh, but it hasn't uh, changed much since 2006 so uh, my hopes are not too high that that this will ever be uh, like finished to the state that was originally designed so uh, so i think that we shouldn't be afraid of, of cleanups in this in this area so if you like Find uh, find your way into into these uh, these uh, things and and want to change anything there. Uh, just be not afraid. Do that. So uh, hmm, uh, I've actually covered most of the slides when, uh, when I was talking, uh, showing the previous one. So. Um, the remark of uh, the SDR objects uh, uh, was uh, in an attempt uh, to move it to model view controller at the times when the model view controller uh, was the most uh, sexy thing in the, in the computing industry. And uh, uh, at the time they just got it to uh, separate the model and view. So there is no controller in this model view controller. Uh, the, <laughs> model uh, itself is the, is the SDR object, uh, and the SDR object contains a pointer to view contact. I was trying to find uh, a definition of view contact, like what actually this means, and there is no definition anywhere. Like, <laughs> it, is, it is always, uh, like if you are lucky, uh, then, you, uh, then you find that um, it should do something, uh, but it is not entirely defined. Like, what is this something? So, uh, so I unfortunately cannot tell you what view object is. <laughs> so, but uh, but it is uh, it is used uh, uh, by the uh, SDR object to to actually get the decompositions. Um, uh, of, uh, of the drawing line shapes. So that is how is it used, uh, but what it is actually, or what was the purpose of, uh, of introducing this, uh, I have found that. Uh, then there's the view object contact, which is again something I didn't find <laughs> the definition <laughs> of. <laughs> so, uh, so this uh, is again uh, works on the on the on the primitives, and this is uh, this is supposed to uh, like uh, provide you uh, provide you the decomposition the themselves. So when like 
the SDI object and the view contact uh, contains the hierarchies of the of the uh, of the drawing layer uh, of the drawing layer primitives. Uh, this uh, view object contact somehow is supposed to, to break it down into into more uh, like into into the, the the basic primitives and stuff like that. So, if you uh, want to try to understand it a bit more, uh, I've used this picture from, from this presentation from 2006 uh, Open Office Conference. And uh, yeah, please do extend the readme, uh, will be most appreciated by everybody. Uh, the own primitives uh, for SDR objects uh, that extend the existing primitives that are in, in the drawing layer subdirectory uh, are defined in SVX source SDR primitive 2D. Uh, so you can have a look like how exactly uh, the, the circles or ellipses are, are defined, for example. And uh, uh, view contact, view object, and view object contact is, is uh, defined all or implemented all in SVR's uh, source SDR contact. Um, it does the de decomposition of the SDR objects and uh, all sorts of operation of them, but as I say, like uh, uh, the bigger picture still escapes me, so sorry for that. So, uh, some drawing layer problems uh, that I've seen uh, so far or hit uh, when I was uh, um, lucky enough to, to have something to do with that uh, is that uh, in many cases uh, uh, the, the processors uh, use these decompositions and uh, compositing again. So uh, in many cases, like when, when working with transparency and, uh, and trying to do uh, something with transparent objects, uh, you just end up uh, like uh, piling bitmap operations one on each other. So, uh, so um, you get a bitmap, do some operation on that, then, then create another bitmap from that. Uh, which may be inevitable because there are limitations of B, uh, what VCL can do. Um, the problem here is that the drawing layer itself or the, the primitives themselves uh, do not have any uh, uh, any idea of uh, how it is being used and what is the device behind that. And uh, so if you want, want it to catch that, uh, you just cannot because uh, the drawing uh, itself is, is uh, created by the renderers but the renderers uh, live uh, only shortly, so you, you just create that, do some uh, do some like uh, the rendering of the of the primitives, and then it dies again. So you cannot just just cache it in in, in the render itself. So uh, that's something of a problem. Uh, like recently, there was a there was a bug uh, that. Uh, uh, that just uh, um, regressed the quality of, uh, of uh, uh, bitmaps uh, that, that we are showing in, uh, in, in the application because it, uh, it stopped to be uh, alias, uh, anti alias. Um, so I just wanted to, to introduce there uh, some, some kind of nicer scaling, and I failed terribly because the performance was so bad that, uh, that Microsoft had to revert that. So, the correct solution here would be uh, to, to cache the, the results, cache the, uh, cache the uh, like bitmap uh, direct, that directed for the, for the output device that is being used, uh, but there's no good place for that in general layer at the moment. The other problem is the complexity of the SDR objects. Um, so, as I've uh, described that, it's apparently halfway uh, somewhere. Uh, but it got uh, well somehow lost the, the, the common knowledge of uh, like what is the final state uh, that sh it should supposed to have, and so I think we should just uh, like in case you feel like that, uh, try to understand more there, describe it in the readme, and uh, uh, let's try to to just just clean it up if uh, if you have the energy and 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 will to do that. And yeah, uh, there might be much more uh, that, that I haven't seen yet, uh, but I'm sure that uh, this is all fixed up, so, so don't be depressed about that. So, uh, so I think that, that when we will have uh, more of the readme's, 
and uh, improved by other people as well, uh, that we will get somewhere and uh, we will come up with a plan what to do with this. So, yeah, that's all it. So, questions? So, um, you were speaking about drawing hatches, and of course, VCL also has an API for drawing hatches. So, in new code, is it considered a bad practice to use the VCL API directly, and uh, the nice and expected way is to use the drawing layer, or? Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a hard uh, question. I expect uh, okay. that in most cases, yeah. if people figure out to draw something that's wanted yeah. somehow, then they are happy that they managed to do it and they don't care yeah. about the proper way. Right? But um, yeah, so so that's uh, very hard to say. But uh, the idea of drawing layer was to be able to um, to have the abstract des uh, description of the of the of the object or of uh, of the uh, of the what is supposed to be drawn, and then have the renderer that uh, that renders that. So in theory, uh, it should be simple. Like if everything was using drawing layer, uh, to just uh, create one more renderer in case you wanted to do, for example, OpenGL uh, drawing. So like in this case, uh, like uh, because everything has its decomposition, you would just uh, implement uh, the OpenGL rendering for. Uh, for uh, for the the few basic primitives, and you would have it basically working, and then you could go into like more details and and special case uh, some of these primitives. So in theory, it would be better to use drawing layer for the for these cases. Uh, in practice, it is so that lots of things uh, just uses VCL directly still. So if we want to move to to the OpenGL. We still have to first port uh, a VCL, VCL anyway, and then provide the drawing layer as well, as we have discussed with Moki just just uh, yesterday in the in the night. Um, because when you have these two, uh, then then you are mostly covered uh, for what you need. Then, like, but. Uh, uh, but I think that just at the very moment, it just doesn't matter that much. Uh. Just because uh, VCL also has this uh, um, ability to get a modifier from the drone virtual device and then so on. So it, I see that it's a different API and I understand that ideally drawing layer is a bit higher level. On the other hand, they physically do the same. Yeah. Like, sorry? So which one should we use? Which one should we use? <laughs> no, basically well, I, would, uh, I would probably choose drawing layer, uh, just uh, so that uh, to get more understanding of that and, and see the shortcomings and what needs to be improved there, uh, and to learn something new. Uh, because like using VCL is easy. <laughs> Using drawing layer is more more complex. So so like uh, if we want to improve the drawing layer, um, we need to start using that so so that we can see uh, like what we need to fix to, to, to fit better for our needs. Does it answer? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, other questions? Yeah. Uh, in uh, Open Office, does uh, drawing layer finish the work of the model view controller? Uh, we have uh, we have uh, uh, we have cherry picked uh, just everything that uh, that uh, Open Office has so uh, or Apache Open Office has uh, and uh, whatever uh, the license allows us to do uh, so like uh, if your question is like if they have anything on top of this that we do not have that's not the case. Uh, we have everything what what is in the Apache Open Office. So, uh, like uh, from the from the point of view of, of drawing layer or any things like uh, like that. There. So no, uh, the state uh, that there is only model and view. Uh, it's it's the same in, in Apache Open Office as well. Any other questions? No, then. Thank you so much. <laughs>